I do your, your, your predictive readings. I do mediumship, pet communication, healer, space clearing, all of those things, lots of different things I do. If you and I were to do a reading for the same person, kind of at the same, same time, I think that we would have base information for the same, but we might get different, a different spin on it. Do you find that to be true as well? Absolutely. I think your way, what your purpose is here as a psychic is probably quite different in many ways than what my purpose is. And I, I believe a lot of it is tied into what purpose do we as a psychic fulfill? A lot of the work that I do is what is running on somebody's subconscious? What are they not aware of? Let's bring it out into the open. Let's, let's process it. Let's heal it. Let's release it. And let's give you tools for helping uh, to, to move through it and release it. Uh, I think that there, there's an understanding to be had that most people don't have. This, this is serious stuff. This is not yeah. a game. This is not that we're walking around plugging in and we're, we're it, it is something that is very sacred that I believe belongs in the realm of sanctity, respect, sacredness, integrity and that it's something to be taken very seriously in the sense that it really is a beautiful avenue to offer massive help to people yes massive help now i'm not negating that other avenues of help are not good absolutely but the psychic if it's truly used and utilized in a way it's intended it really is a beautiful avenue and gift to be able to help others heal. Because yes, I'm a Reiki master teacher, energy healer. That's not the only way I heal. My readings and most every psychic's readings sit in the lane of healing in one way or another. I think that the thing that makes me the happiest is when I see that someone has the understanding that it's not just this world. It's not just about right here, that they are connected to something else. They are connected to something greater than this. And I think that that kind of puts us at ease is that, that um, we don't have to be so entangled in everything that we do here in this lifetime that there is a beyond. As we progress along our, our enlightening journey, our enlightenment journey, even as we, we start to vibrate even higher, because that's the ascension, then yes, it's almost like we, we walked into a whole nother theater and it's all new again and it's all to be experienced and discovered again. Yes, I agree with you. I've seen it for myself whenever I hit possibly a certain level, then all of a sudden it's like a whole nother doorway opens up and it's a whole new space. But it's beautiful because the, the possibilities are limitless. We as human beings put those limits on us. I mean, again, the human mind just can't wrap itself around some of this. Even I, like I said, as I've struck, you know, throughout the years, I, every once in a while, like, I have to sit and really kind of put that together between the metaphysical and the physical. I wish people could understand. I wish every human being could understand that there is so much more and that we all are connected and that we all are one. I think that we get bogged down and um, stop realizing what the possibilities are, you know? When we talk about psychic things, abilities and the way of living and so forth, it's so deep 
of a conversation it has so many facets it's like it sits in a cavern and can we really get to every little nook and cranny of that cavern i don't know i honestly i'm like you i, I really don't think so and that's part of the beauty of it is the mysticism well i think that once we think that we know there's more <laughs> This, this psychic work is of a multidimensional world and we live in a 3D world. And sometimes, I don't know about you, but I find it difficult sometimes to really get the 3D words to describe what I'm really experiencing in this multidimensional, unable to describe place because there are certain things that are just not in many ways translatable. Which makes me really happy too. I mean, it's like frustrating to not be able to say, but also makes me really happy that that's going on. You know, <laughs> that's Absolutely. really out there going on. <laughs> There's so much more than meets the eye. The more evolved we become and the more practiced and learned we become in our abilities, because it is something to train and work and, 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 and learn and observe and experience. There's a lot of that goes into what we do. It's not just, hey, let's open up a pack of cards and go, or, you know, tarot cards or oracle cards. There's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes that a lot of people don't understand or realize. You know, but this is also part of our purpose for being here as human beings is to grow and learn. It's all about opportunity to grow and learn and ascend and enlighten to, you know, our soul. So this is where the human mind starts to, this is where I start to go into that human mind thing. Oh, wouldn't it be a beautiful place? But at the same time, some of this is necessary for the purposes of why we're here to grow our soul. My turning point was the day I woke up and I thought, you know, Elise Ann, you are psychic. You are a psychic. It is in every fiber of your being. You cannot separate Elise and the human being from Elise and the psychic. Oh my God, it's just amazing. And every day I thank spirit. I'm in gratitude every day for the fact that I am blessed to be able to do this work and help people and live this type of life. And not just for being able to, to live my purpose, because this is my purpose. And I know without a doubt, this is my purpose. The psychic work that I'm doing to help other people is my purpose, hands down fills my life and to have that opportunity to live my purpose every single day is is the greatest greatest blessing i look at the work that we do is giving people hope and joy and 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 growth and love and compassion and hopefully some purpose somewhere there if they're if they're struggling with that i do what i do not to go oh wow look at me i'm psychic i can pull all this information and tell you about your future i do what i do to help people to help them to heal their life i've walked the journey and the path myself this is not something that I'm just an observer on. I have done some very, very deep-seated healing. I'm where I am now. It's allowed me to come to this place to be able to share that with other people. And that's why I love what I love, because I see what it's done for me in my life. And, and to truly be able to say I'm happy and really mean it. Oh yes, do I have things going on in my world? Absolutely, wow, you know? But, but because of this spiritual path and because I opened up and I learned and, and I'm doing what I'm doing psychically and really immerse myself in the spiritual way of living and being, I, I'm, I can't ever say before recently that I'm happy. I'm very yes. happy and truly well. mean it. You know, because the, the the psychic side of things, that 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 side of the world, if you will, is fantastical. It's magical. It's powerful. It's awe-inspiring. It's ch I'm, I'm chilling all over my body. It's just amazing.